G'day guys, what's cracking? This video might hurt a little bit because it's gonna blow your mind. Well, the video isn't, but the product may. See how we go. I love exploring new products and this one has done it for me with a really quick release ex height extension on the monopod that you simply access via this with no screws or mucking about here with feet included and with the quick release top and bottom that you can simply take your camera off or take it off its feet it's a total win today i have a monopod of legendary status <laughs> that's right this is the pinta monopod from yc onion and it is fantastic it's a three section tripod made from carbon fiber or aluminium take your pick its minimum height is 75 centimeters but we can go lower than that and we'll show you that later on it can go up to 145 centimeters but it can also go higher than that and we'll show you that later on the carbon fiber is 1.7 kilos and the aluminium is 1.9 kilos and it takes a full payload of eight kilograms it's a fantastic brand new release just out on the market product we're looking at today there's two elements that set this monopod apart from all of its competitors i think the first is its fiso release mechanism watch this you simply push this button pull this up and it extends out you lock it down and you can't unextend it until you push this button down and you pull that and then it gently air compresses back together the other thing that's unique about this design that you have to be aware of is that it assembles different to every other monopod usually a monopod you start here and you work your way up as i may have done in this video out of bad habit but in this particular instance you simply disengage the lock you lift it up and you allow that to slide all the way down you lock it in and you're good to go and then when you want to unassemble that's when you can either grab it like this or you can push it down like so and you're good to go make sense so you got a bit of a braking system here the other beauty about this is you have a lifetime free of tightening anything up it doesn't require any maintenance on the joints like other monopods do when you're constantly clipping over or you're releasing so you save yourself not only the hassle of doing that but the hassle of when it doesn't work they get clogged up they get messy and they don't work you can select any height you like in between and just when you're at the right height you're thinking yep that's about it you just lock it off and it is it is stationary at the bottom end of the monopod you have these feet that click out and stay stable in this position so the monopod can stand up all by itself on uneven ground feet themselves are made of aluminium alloy they have rubber stops here which are really firm and screwed in nothing to worry about there give and take in these easy release legs and they're easily released by you move it halfway back you simply pull out the metal levers and it swings back in on itself leaving you this rubber stop you can keep the rubber stop there it's another point of contact to the ground for stability but you can also replace it with a spike should you not want to use the legs and you need a spike to stab it in the ground then we have the swivel mount and so i can release this once released i can put the monopod at an angle of 90 degrees all the way up to 130 on the other side or you can simply twist it around so you have tons and tons of options when it comes to what direction you want your monopod to stand in one of the things i'd love to see in future models is a collar that slides down and locks that in so you can make sure it's nice and straight when you've got it all locked in you're guessing at the moment and yeah there's always a little bit of room for error when you have to do that and since we're down this end of the tripod let me show you the quick cool release system this is mm, so good so you simply pull this down it comes off how good's that look inside that looks pretty cool right these little ball bearings they are stationary so you can't then push that back in to push it back in you have to pull back the lever and go in but as you can see look at this it locks in so once it's in there got these little teeth see the little teeth that is locked in for good so nice if we jump up to the other end the business end some might say here's your quick release that enables you to change the height you get a, a kind of a braking mechanism there so when it's pulled all the way up you have free rein and up until that point there's a little bit of resistance so you can use that to your benefit then we have a quick release on the top so i simply push this down 
and that comes off so you can attach this to your camera. So my use of a monopod is primarily for sports photography, whether that's a uh, sport field like touch footy or NRL or something like that, which those of you outside of Australia wouldn't perhaps have a clue about, or surfing. So a monopod enables me to have a stationary camera that I can look through and I can shoot, that I can adjust the size at which it's gonna work depending on the ground that I'm on and the stance that I wanna take. But what happens is sometimes the action moves closer to you or it moves very quickly around here and you actually need to take your camera off. And so what normally happens is you pick up your a monopod like this and you're shooting like this and you're trying and then you're banging this around and it's not cool. It's not cool. So with YC Onion's ingenuity, all you do is pop this down, pull your camera off, and you're ready to go. Like it's that quick. And so in my scenario, you can take your camera off, you can leave your monopod there, you can walk away and shoot. How's that? Come back, stick it back on, and yeah, how you were, it resumes where you were. It's just a wonderful, ingenious solution. The base plate has this 3 8 and a quarter 20 in there with some spring action and a nice rubber seal so it'll stick to whatever you want. You might want to choose to put a fluid head on or, or you can just go straight to your camera whether it's the base of the camera or your lens mount that you have and you could put a ball head on but I'm always wary about putting a ball head on top of a monopod because you you lose a lot of the stability that the monopod otherwise brings you. So you've got to love the speed at which you can diminish the size of this and you actually only need one hand when your camera's on top. And look how quick it is, you just simply pull this up, go to the height you want, lock it in, and you're really ready to go. You want to bring it down, you simply push this button up, goes all the way down, lock it off, and you're good to walk around. You can then take the feet off simply by popping that up with a quick release. And what it reveals on this end is another quarter 20 slash three eighths because they've got a little adapter in there. Mounting points, you can put a spike on that, you can attach it to something else that you might need. Put a light or a microphone or another camera on top to enable you to have more options. Those options can be enhanced by increasing the distance between one end and the other. So this is the full length of the monopod, but it's not the full length of the entire unit. What you also get is an extension piece, and the extension piece can go on the quick release end. So you simply pull that off, you pop that on, and you have this gigantic pole that you can use for all sorts of things. In fact, if you are a massive, massively tall person, or you enjoy shooting a monopod from a ladder, you can literally have this as your monopod set up. You also get two mounting points and so you can mount stuff on this and you can mount stuff on this and you can set this up separately to this. You don't have to unscrew anything. You simply pull apart and you're ready to go. So let's talk about height. Monopod starts off at this height. You simply release and pull up to the full height of the monopod and you can choose any height distinction in there that you choose. You lock it off and it is stable. What? You want to go higher, you want to go longer, simply pull this down, this comes off, extension bar, slots in, locked in, doesn't twist, and if you want, you can actually then vary the height in between that and that. The other option you've got is simply detach here, and then attach your head. You can shoot that far off the ground as well. YC Onion also are adamant that you can use this as a boom pole, which I think is a, a just a terrific idea. It's quite lightweight. You can hold a microphone or a light or even a camera to somewhere where you wouldn't normally go or even a gimbal if you want to do a bit of gimbal action. It'll be quite weighty and I would suggest using this part that is much more amicable than using the thin end like I just was with a rubber stop on the bottom here that you can exchange for a spike if you so choose. You could use it as a walking stick. It's a really handy accessory to have if you're doing a bit of hiking. You don't want to take a tripod, but you do want the stability of a monopod as well as a walking stick. Hiking stick? A walking stick's for people that can't walk and hiking sticks for people who really can walk. Hmm. Comes in this fantastic heavy duty bag, which has a canvas exterior and a nylon interior and a special elastic holder and case for your extension strap. Simply zips up, 
nice and easy like this. Put your carry like that, take it away. Also has a strap on the outside should you want to put it over your shoulder and extend the length of it. I love exploring new products and this one has done it for me with a really quick release ex height extension on the monopod that you simply access via this with no screws or mucking about here with feet included and with the quick release top and bottom that you can simply take your camera off or take it off its feet it's a total win i love it well so, well done yc onion thanks for watching everybody if you want to grab yours there'll be a link in the description and i will see you in the next video especially if you subscribe and like and ring the bell bye you simply pull this off Be careful you don't jam your hand in there. That's not a good one. Oh, it's gonna bleed. <sighs>